everybody. Thank you so much for joining my infrared sauna vlog. Okay, so this is where I sit in my infrared sauna for about an hour and I think about things that are going to make my life better and to help keep me on my path for high spiritual evolution in this time of absolute chaos. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. It's usually about 130 to 135 plus degrees and you really get a complete transcendent experience plus detoxing and la la la. Anyway, as you all may know, I'm in Southern California and have been really in the center of all the wildfire craziness. And so um, I wanted to talk today about people that are empaths and how to really protect yourself from a lot of lower vibrational energies that can actually just suck you right into the ground, into the swamp of despair. And it's because you're, as an empath, taking on other people's energies. So I'm talking about this today because having been in very close proximity to this mass shooting that happened, and then the following day, the fire starting. So it's a huge amount of like, I mean, intense, devastatingly, just really seriously. <laughs> oh my God, what? So I was very blessed in that my house was saved and I did put angels all around the property, which thank God they were there for me and for my close friends. So, um, miracles literally. And, uh, I'm able now to give back. And I talked about being of service and how that raises your vibration, which is a huge thing. But if you're an empath, like I am, and you're faced with being surrounded by so many who are suffering, and I mean, suffering, loss of everything, Sometimes it's almost impossible to maintain any type of equilibrium or even sanity because you literally feel like you're being completely overwhelmed by a river of emotion that is not even yours, but that you have no control of. And this can be devastating and it can be debilitating. It can be paralyzing and then you can't do anything. You certainly can't, can't help others if you can't help yourself first. And it's so important to be of service if you can. So for me, I'm having to really pull together um, tools to protect myself from taking on too much of other people's energy in my immediate environment, but also in my community because it's so heavy, right? So, um, and this can apply to everyday life situations because if you're an empath, and you operate with a high level of heart chakra energy and unconditional love energy, which empaths and um, people that are spiritual tend to um, do. Uh, sometimes there are like, well, there's a whole other topic about energetic vampires. And that's people that literally just come and suck your energy from your heart chakra. <laughs> As a matter of course, I'll do another vlog on that whole subject, but being an empath, you have to start learning to protect yourself from falling into the trap of other people's lower vibrational energy, regardless of the circumstances. It may be founded or completely unfounded. In this case, it's founded. People need to heal. People need to mourn and being able to be of service and not being caught down in that lower vibrational energetic field is really critical. So there's some Quick tips, okay, because I'm running out of time. Energetic shielding. Visualize a shield between you and all of the energy around you, right? Breathe and release any negative energy that you're holding in your body and your energetic field. That's huge for me. Stand in the dirt and try to ground yourself and let any of that lower vibrational energy exit your energy field. Be near the ocean, which is amazing. And now I can't do that because of what's, I mean, I guess I could go north, but I can't go to Malibu anymore for the time being because it was decimated, sadly. Oh my God. But being near that, 
energetic field of negative ions totally clears your energy field from any any lower vibrational energy that you may be holding on to and crystals crystals will bring in a stream of higher vibrational energy energy especially certain crystals which will also clear your energy field of any negative energy there's a whole bunch of other tools and i can go into them in more depth but i don't want to make this video too long and i have i do need to meditate and then go run some errands so <laughs> I'm going to be doing those exercises in here for the next 50 minutes at 131 degrees we're at right now. And um, also I'm going to meditate and I'm going to send blessings and peace and healing and protection to everybody that's been affected by the wildfires and the mass shooting and all of this devastating, all of these devastating, devastating things that have come down in California recently. Anyway. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have a whole lot of exciting new things coming up. Please keep the faith. Try to keep your vibration high. Have faith. Live in your abundance and gratitude at all times. And know that everything's going to come out okay, okay? It is. It always does, right? Keep the faith. Blessings to you all. Blessings, right? And...